All right, FAQ number 25. Um, another objection that you'll get sometimes, people that are trying to uh, disprove the Bible, the King James Bible, they'll say there are different contradicting accounts, at least three different contradicting accounts of what was written on the cross above Jesus. And they each one say different, you know, something different. They'll say, so see, they couldn't have been eyewitnesses because they each reported something different. So they lie, their stories contradict, their stories mess up. Sorry, the King James Bible is not God's Word. Okay? Turning your Bible to Luke chapter 23, verse 38. It says here, And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the King of the Jews. So you see there were three languages. Okay? So... That's why you see three different accounts there of what was written above Jesus Christ, above his head. They're giving different, you know, translations of what was written there. Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. Ironically, there were three sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Shem, Greek, Ham, Latin, excuse me, Japheth, Japheth, Greek, Ham, Latin, and Shem, Hebrew. Very interesting, representing the three basic kindreds of people. And then, of course, it branches out from there and goes out from there. But uh, very interesting. So, again, another little attack that you're going to hear on the King James Bible, that there are contradicting, you know, and some will say four or something like this, by the way, too, I should say this. And that is, you know, I believe right here, it's, this is the king of the Jews, is just kind of giving a summation of what each one was saying. But there are only three actual different things that were written above Jesus Christ on the cross when he was crucified. And it's three different languages. So it's not a contradiction. The King James Bible is right again. The atheistic liars are wrong.